super fast and super easy tortilla pizza. So first off, you're gonna brush that down with about a teaspoon of olive oil. Then you wanna season that with whatever spices you want. We went with a pinch of salt, garlic powder, some ground pepper, and about a pinch of dried oregano. Next up, tomato sauce. We went with about three tablespoons. Spread that out nicely all the way to the edges. Then add about two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese to get a nice cheesy pull. For toppings, you can add whatever you want. We went with pepperoni. Then just bake that at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for three to five minutes. And there you go, a nice and easy, delicious tortilla pizza. I haven't tried much Indian food before, but I tried this recipe out and it was fantastic. Let's start off by adding one and a half cups of chicken breast with some salt and pepper for seasoning. You can use the chicken thigh as well. I was surprised at how easy this dish was to make. I'm adding half a uh, onion, they're diced. Three tablespoons of tomato paste, followed by three cloves of garlic that's minced. One tablespoon of freshly grated ginger, one and a half teaspoons of garam masala, one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, and one and a half teaspoons of curry powder, followed by one can of tomato sauce, and a cup of chicken stock. And then at the end there, I'm gonna add half a cup of heavy cream. That's basically it, it's so good. Try it out, easy. Today we're making an egg that looks like a cake. You need six eggs, separate the whites and the egg yolks. Add a little bit of sugar if you want, and then just beat the egg yolks. And then you gotta whisk the crap out of the egg whites. Now this is gonna take a lot of whisks. It's recommended that you use an electric hand mixer. Um, and then you can add some more sugar if you want to make it a little sweet. Actually, before I said sugar, it should actually be salt. So, in an oiled pan, start by cooking the yolks. And then add that foamy meringue egg whites on top. And cook it low and slow for about 5 minutes. And then you have this souffle egg cakey thing. Very foamy. Texturally, it's a little bit weird. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Korean beef bulgogi. Two tablespoons of brown sugar and two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sesame oil, one clove of garlic minced, and a quarter Asian pear grated. Add some black pepper and some salt. And then add in your beef and some carrots and onions. Mix that all together and marinate it for at least 30 minutes up to overnight, add some oil in your pan, and throw in the meat. Ooh, it's smelling really good right now. And then once the beef is cooked, just throw it on a plate and garnish it with a little sesame seeds and green onions if you want. Enjoy! Yo, no oven required. For these brownies, add half a cup of melted butter followed by one cup of sugar. Mix that well. Now we're going to add two eggers and mix that well, followed by a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, okay, whisk, whisk, whisk. Now we're going to add some dry ingredients. We're going to sift through three quarter cups of cocoa powder, half a cup of all-purpose flour, quarter teaspoon of salt, Using a spatula now, I'm gonna mix that well, and that's your brownie batter. I lined my baking pan with a little parchment paper and put your batter in there. Pour some water in a pan, add your little stand, put your brownie on top. Chocolate chips are optional. Cover and steam for 30 minutes.